You are always welcome at East Africa's best language school, Swahili Dar Language School in Tanzania. Habari, habari. Karibu, karibu sana kujifunza Kiswahili tena. Na leo tunajifunza the use of car. Matumizi ya car or function of car, the function of cars. I know you made these sentences with car, 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 and you were wondering, what is car? Eh? Ulikutana, eh? uliona, ulikutana na, na sentensi kama hizi, sentensi zina uh, ulisikia, car, blah, 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 car, blah, 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 car. Eh? Na ulijiuliza maswali mengi sana, car ni nini? What is car? Car ni nini? Eh? Leo ndiyo siku. Today is indeed the day. Leo ndiyo siku ya kujifunza car. So, we have different functions of car. Different functions of car. So, uh, this is just part one lesson. So, after this lesson, you should continue with part two. Uh, and uh, watch another video, part two, use of car, to see more function of car. This is not the end of car, right? Okay, so we have number one, two, three, four, five, six. We continue to another video. Okay, let's, let's, let's translate. Let's start translating these sentences here. So, number one function of car, uh, here we use car, for, uh, we call it a car for narration, like a, when you narrate a story, when you tell a story, um, you have a series of actions. Eh? I did that uh, like yesterday or the day before yesterday or two weeks ago, I went there or I worked up uh, and I brushed my tooth and then I uh, put on clothes, I had breakfast. If you tell a story like that or a story of any kind of story, you have a series, eh? you'll be having a series of actions. And then you will need to use the car as the past tense li. So instead of li tense, so this car is the same, is the same as li tense here. But, <laughs> but, but, lakini, uh, is different, eh? is exactly the same as this li, but in the first sentence, in the first sentence, you are going to have a, a li, just the normal tense li, and the other sentences are coming are going to be ka. Because uh, when you tell a story, the first sentence, it took, uh, in Swahili sentence, eh, it took the li, the first sentence will see li, the other, uh, the, the far you go, you will be using ka, 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 ka. Like, let's, let's, let's try to do, uh, to translate this one. Yesterday I went to town. I bought, uh, uh, I bought uh, uh, shoes, I went to the market, and uh, I bought uh, some fruit. Then I came back home and cook. Simple story. Eh? Okay, how will you translate that one? So you say, yesterday, Jana. Jana, I went to town. The first sentence, you need to have. You need to have li. Jana nili enda or nili kwenda. Enda ni kwenda the same. So, jana nili enda to town. Njini. Mjini. M-J-I-N-I. Jana nili enda mjini. I bought shoes. Second sentence. Now we start having your tense. Eh? Nika. Nikanunua. Nikanunua. Shoes. Viatu. Viatu. Mm -hmm. I went to the market. Ni. Then. Nika. I went to the market. Nikaenda. Sokoni. I went to the market. And I bought some fruits. And. And I bought. So, nikaenda sokoni na ni I bought some fruit nika. Uh, now I write here. Na 
Nika nunua I bought some fruit Nika nunua matunda Nika nunua matunda Then I came back home and cook Halafu halafu ah uh, Nika rudi Nika rudi nyumbani nyumbani na na kupika You see that? You see that? So jana nilienda mjini nikanunua viatu, nikanunua eh, nikaenda sokoni na nikanunua matunda. Halafu nikarudi nyumbani na kupika. So you have you have in this sentence you are having you have car here, you see? You have car here. You see you have car here. You have a lot of car. You have car here. You see? Car uh, your tense car, your tense car is there and your tense car is there. See? Huh? So, let's see. Let's see this 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 example here. They cut a big tree. It fell down and they got firewood for cooking their lunch. Aha. Uh -huh. So, how will you uh, translate? Wali the first sentence need to have li. Walikata. Walikata a big tree. Mti. Mti mkubwa. Walikata mti mkubwa. Mm -hmm. They cut a big tree. It fell down. Mti mkubwa. The tree eh, fell minon class mti miti so subject prefix is u uka anguka uka anguka it fell down aha uh -huh. uka anguka chini uka anguka down it fell down uka anguka chini is down and they got firewood na wa ka pata Na wakapata firewood kuni na wakapata kuni for cooking their lunch wakapata kuni kwa eh kwa for for this because of for the sake of eh, for the purpose of I'll say kwa ajili so kwa ajili ya kwa ajili ya is for for the sake of, for the purpose of, because of, eh? for cooking their lunch. Kwa wakapata kuni kwa ajili ya kupika chakula, chakula chao, chakula chao, cha mchana. You see that? Eh? Walikata, you have, you have, you have your... Uh, you have your your tense eh? past tense li in the first sentence eh walikata mti mkubwa waka uka ukaanguka chini na waka wakapata kuni kwa ajili eh ya kupika eh, chakula chao cha mchana for cooking their lunch you see that so this this is the function number one for car. We continue. This is just the function number one for car. So the function number two, the function number two for car is going to be car like ame. Car like ame. You see this? This is ame. You remember the tense marker me. That is the tense marker me. But the tense marker me, that is the tense marker me, the present perfect tense. You remember your present perfect tense and recent past. Me as recent past. So this is not a, a you know, li is past tense. Eh? Something happened yesterday maybe or long time ago. But may something happen just happened. Something happened maybe today, a few hours ago. We use may tense. But here we learn that uh, we can apply car for the recent past may. 
but only, only for subject prefix a, a subject prefix. You remember a, a is for he or she. Eh? A is he or she. So, ame, just if, well, every time you want to say she has, blah, 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 blah. Maybe she has left, she has gone, she has cooked. You are going to use this kind of ka. Not, not, not uh, they have eaten. Not they have eaten. Not I have eaten. Not that one. This ka is only going to apply for a me. Only for a me. Eh? For he and she only. Oh, or maybe for animals as well. Uh, you can use for animals as well. Like uh, um, if the cat has eaten. You say, paka. How are you, how are you going to say that sentence? But you need to learn something. You need to learn something here. You need to learn that every time you have your, your tense car, every time you have your tense car, and every time you have those monosyllabic verb, those monosyllabic verbs like kula, huh? like uh, kuja, you know kula is eat, kuja is come. Eh? Like kunyua is drink, right? Uh, those, those verbs, eh? monosyllabic verbs. You tell me, what? Another? Kufa or kuwa. Every time you use ka, you have tense ka, and this monosyllabic verb, this ku should go away. So that is the formula, my friend. So every time this, this, this uh, tense ka, you see, like uh, this is your tense here. If this verb will be kula, then you will just say kala, nikala, instead of nikarudi. You see that? So you need to learn that. You need to learn that. So this one will go away and you'll just have the verb ka, uh, the verb ja, and uh, your tense ka. And this one as well will go away. So every time you want to say, um, Yesterday, I woke up and I ate my breakfast. You say, Jana, niliamka, nikala, chakula cha subui. And I had my coffee. Na, nikanywa, ni, nikanywa, nikanywa, kahawa, coffee. You see that? So we will go, we'll see, we'll see some, some sentence. I have some sentence here with the monosyllabic verbs and a ka. You will understand better, but at least you have this information. So ka, monosyllabic verbs with a ka, we drop the ku, we drop the, so we'll be dropping this ku here, right? Okay, let's see this sentence. So here, this use, this use of ka, we need only to use to say, to use this car for army. So this is the conversation between two people, the father and the son. Eh? So the father and the son are speaking here. Let's see, let's see this conversation. So the father asked his son, has your mom slept inside? How would you translate that sentence? In Swahili, the sentence is going to be, um, yes or no question. So. We start with J. J, mama, mama yako, your mom. J, mama yako, slept. Amelala, you can say J, mama yako, amelala, ndani. Or we use ame. We say the ame is the same as ka. So J, mama yako, amelala, ndani. Instead of amelala, we say Mama yako, instead of amelala, we say ka, lala. So instead of ame, lala, we say just ka. Ka lala, inside. Ndani? J, mama yako, ka lala, ndani? Let's see how the son will respond. No, she has not. Hmm, do we have negative of a ka like this? Do we have? Let's see. Hapana. The son said, Hapana. Haja 
la la so now you learn that uh, now you can learn that uh, this car negative is the same as you know me negative is ja me is positive a negative of me is ja so ka like ame the negative of ka like ame is just the same ja so hapana hajalala i think you know this because you are high intermediate student when for high intermediate student i should not um remind you over and over about uh, the may tense may tense is for beginners eh? beginners they learn may tense eh? a negative of may tense which is ja those are for beginners but you advance here yeah? we learn we learn now uh, about car because you are advanced student now so hapana hajalala where has she gone see where has she gone so that's that's ame again so you can say amekwenda wapi or ameenda wapi but ame instead of ame we say ka so you say ameenda we say kaenda kaenda wapi instead of ameenda wapi you say kaenda wapi just kaenda kaenda wapi instead of ame ame is the same as ka so ameenda wapi eh right? and you say you say the son responded again she has gone to the market the son said kaenda sokoni kaenda sokoni and then the father asked another question has she taken my wallet yes or no question so we start with j j has she is ame again so instead of ame we are using what ka j kachukua je kachukua eh wallet is like parcel wallet you say je kachukua pochi pochi yangu je kachukua pochi yangu the son say hapana she left it on the table she has left it on the table huh she has left it we need has here because we we need to continue with uh, our car she has left it on the table hapana then the son say instead of ame iacha ame iacha we say ka it she left it kai acha kai acha on the table mezani kai acha mezani you see that do you see this car this is the second use of car so every time you want to say ame in swahili every time you want to say ame kula like ame kula in swahili you say ame is just ka but you say the ka with the monosyllabic verbs we drop the ku right so you'll say kala so instead of amekula you just say kala you see that so amekunywa amekunywa you drop the ku so ka is just ame is just ka and uh, we drop the ku because it is monosyllabic verb and uh, we take this nywa so ka nywa she has drunk oh. he has drunk it see that so let's see more example your son has eaten a lot of rice how do you translate that sentence in swahili eh? how will you translate that sentence in swahili your son will be mtoto wako or just mwanao 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 has eaten amekula amekula so instead of amekula ame is just a ka because ka is ame here right there so mtoto wako ame kula so kula is monosyllabic verb kula kula we drop the ku and we just have so mwanao is the same as mtoto wako mwanao kala wali mwing 
mwingi. Mwanao kala wali mwingi. That's a good thing, eh? Yeah. Our friend has just arrived. So you say, Rafiki. Rafiki yetu. Amefika. So instead of saying amefika, like amefika, this ame is ka. So I will say, Rafiki yetu ka fika. Do you understand? Do you really understand this use of ka? Eh? Are you with me? Eh? Tupo pamoja. Tupo pamoja. Unayelewa eh? safi. His girlfriend has left the country today. Oh, pole. So you say, um, mpenzi. Mpenzi wake. Mpenzi wake has ameondoka instead of ame ameondoka. I'll say, mpenzi wake ka ondoka. Nchini. Leo. You see? Unaelewa? Ninatumaini unaelewa. Ninatumaini tupo pamoja. But uh, my friend, if I just teach you one sentence, pause your video, pause the video and uh, do other sentences. Translate other sentences by yourself. Eh, I will not remind you. You every time I teach you something like here, I teach you, I show you what the first sentence, do the other sentences, right? By yourself, okay? Okay, I hope you will remember this time. I know sometimes we people, we are human beings, eh? we forget. Eh? I forgot to remind you. You forgot to did it. Ah, no, you didn't forget. I eh? know you, you were those kind of my students I always proud of. Yes, ninajivunia mwanafunzi kama we are proud of the students like you. He shot and killed the lion. Man, what kind of car is this? This car is the same as Lee, exactly the same as Lee. But when are we using it? Why are we using it instead of? This car shows that uh, this uh, action has just happened immediately after one action was done. So after this action, another action happened immediately. It doesn't have to be a story here. There, we were saying, it's a story. You narrate, eh? you tell the story. Series of action. But here is just one sentence, maybe two sentences. Or oh, one or two sentences. So one sentence will have uh, the past tense, li. The another action should, be, should have ka. Like, uh, he shot and killed the lion. How will it be? Ali? Ali? Pigia. He shot. Ali Pigia Risasi. Ali Pigia Risasi. Huh? Ali Pigia Risasi. Ah. Uh, so this is, you see? The resolution, so it means it's between the sentence. Just like this one. Desh and desh. It means it's between the sentence. This like this one. This one, uh, it's ka in the beginning, and then the sentence is coming. So ka there is as prefix, but ka here is as infix. So alipigia risasi aka uwa simba. Alipigia risasi aka uwa simba. He shot and killed the lion. She taught them hard and they understood. Ali, the first sentence with Ali. Ali wa fundisha. Ali wa fundisha. Kwa bidi. Kwa bidi. Ali wa fundisha kwa bidi. And they understood. Ali wa fundisha kwa bidi. Waka. They understood him. Or oh, they just understood. They, and they understood. Waka elewa. So, aliwafundisha kwa bidi waka elewa. He, 
Oh, she taught them hard and they understood. You see that? They ate and get satisfied. They ate. Wali? Wali kula. And get satisfied. Wali kula? Waka? Shiba. So, immediately after they ate, they got satisfied. We arrived and opened the door. She arrived and opened the door. She arrived and opened the door. So, Ali, Ali, Fika, Ali, Fika, then Aka, Akafungua, Akafungua, Mlango. So we have our tense here. Alifika akafungua mlango. She fell and cry. Ali anguka. Ali anguka. Aka lia. Ali anguka. Aka lia. See that? She was hit by the car and that. Ooh. Ali Gongwa, Ali Gongwa, Nagari. Akafa. You see, Nina Tumaini Unaelewa, Nina Tumaini Unaelewa Vizuri sana. So, the Kazi number, ne, function number four, for car. This one here is like imperative. That's number one. And this car, you see, it's prefix now. Car is in the beginning, prefix. Not like uh, inside the verb like this one. Uh, akalia, akafa, it's not inside. Eh? Akafungua, no. This is prefix. Just like uh, number two is prefix. It's, it's, uh, it starts in the beginning of the sentence. Eh? Kaenda, it starts in the beginning. Kachukua, that's in the beginning. Kayacha, eh? Kaenda, kalala. See? Then ka and other things uh, come after. So this is, it, this ka, just the ka means go, blah, 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 blah. Go do something or go and do something. So every time you want to say go, and hmm? do blah 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 blah. You say ka. Look at this, and this is imperative, so it's more like a command. Eh? So it's not very nice eh, to tell someone. Well, you can say it to your friend. You can say it to your colleague, if you're the boss. You can say it eh, to your taxi driver, because you're the boss there, right? Yeah. But if you're a good person, if you don't, you want, you like to be nice. You know, sometimes you are fast. It's not like a good person, bad person. No. Sometimes you are, you want things to happen fast. Eh? You say it. Go bring me water. I want to die, man. Go help him. Go help me. Hey, people. Sometimes you want things to happen fast, and we use this. Not being good or bad person every time. No. Okay. So, go do something. Go buy fruit. Maybe you tell someone, go buy fruit. You say, just, ka, I told you. Just the ka means go do something. So, ka, buy fruit is nunua, matunda. Nunua is buy. You remember? Nunua, but we have, the, but we have car here. And because we have car, we'll change nunua to nunue. Kanunue, fruit. Matunda, matunda. Kanunue, matunda. Go buy fruit. Go buy some fruit. Go teach children. Swahili. Ka. Go teach children. Kafundishe. Watoto, 
I know, I know those students say, no, sir, you are wrong. You need to put object in fix there. Why do you put object in fix there? You need to say, kawa fundishe watoto. I know those students. I didn't, yes, I didn't put object in fix here in this, in this sentence. You know why? Because these children are not very specific children. Uh, like children, general. Go to children. Go teach my children, I will put, because go teach those children, I needed to put the object in fix. Kawafundishe watoto wale. Kawafundishe watoto wangu. You see that? So go cook food. This is general sentence. Go cook food. Go cook my food, I will put in object in fix. But this sentence is food, it's just food. I'm not going to put object in fix. You see that? Hmm, you remember it. So go cook food will be ka pike. Ka pike chakula. Ka pike chakula. Go cook food. Go teach children. Go buy fruit. You see that? Let's see more sentences. Ha! Huh. Did you pause the video? Pause the video. Translate these sentences by yourself and then play it to check. Go call your sister. How? By the telephone or by the word of mouth? If it is go tell your sister by the word of mouth, I'm going to write. Ka. Ka. Your sister. Object infix. Ka muite. You know, ita, remember, like nina itwa. To be called, the it was to be called. So to call, just the ita. So kamuite dada yako, kamuite dada yako, kamuite dada yako, ite, kamuite, kamuite dada yako. That's go call your sister. Then you go, hey sister, sister, daddy is calling you. But go call your sister will be ka to call by phone. Ka kampigie simu dada yako. Kampigie simu dada yako. So go work hard will be ka fanye. Ka fanye kazi. Ka fanye kazi kwa bidi. Ka fanye kazi kwa bidi. Go show him the way. Go show him the way. Ka. Go show him the way. Him. Ka. Mwonye. She. Ka mwonye shenjia. See that? Go tell them the truth. Will be. Ka. Tell them. Them. Ka wa. Tell. Ambie. Change it. Eh? Kawambie the truth. Ukweli. Kawambie ukweli. Go pick up your girlfriend. Go pick up your girlfriend. Ka. Go pick up your girlfriend. When she's arriving, she was. She left the country and today. She's here. Go pick up your girlfriend, man. So ka. Mchukue, kamchukue, kamchukue mpenzi, mpenzi wako. If you mean, if you mean, go receive your girlfriend from airport, you'll say, kampoke, like, receive, poke, kampoke mpenzi wako. So, this function number four. Function number five is the same as function number four, but here is for subjunctive. So this is the same. Oh, you see? So this car now is not prefix. It's not prefix. It's infix. You see? There is dash here and dash here. So it should be inside the verb, not like this one. Not, not like this one. This one is prefix. It starts and then the verb comes. Here should be inside. You have to have something before and you need to have something after. Car should be inside. So it's the same as go and go do something. Go do something. But, lakini, for 
the subjunctive sentences. So let's see the subjunctive sentences. We know subjunctive. We have learned subjunctive. So let's do it together. Let us go help them. Let us go. Allow us go help them. So I'll say, I'll start with Acha. Like, allow us go help them. Acha to, then we have the tense. And that tense is ha. Subjunctive, but today we have the tense. Oh, no tense in subjunctive. We don't have the tense in subjunctive. But today we do have the t tense. We do have the tense, and our tense is ka. Yes. So, acha to ka wa. Saidie. Acha to ka wa saidie. See that? Can you please go pay him? Please. So once you are pleased, you say, Naomba. So this is polite sentence. Naomba. Can you please go pay him? Naomba. Uka. Mm, li. Pay. So lipa is pay. Him. Mm, is him. You. Go. Pay him. You go pay him. See that? So, it is better we go sleep now. It is better we go sleep now. It is better. Nibora. Nibora. We go. We. To. Ka. La le. Nibora. It is, it is better we go sleep now, sasa. Nibora tukalale sasa. Let him go celebrate. Let him go celebrate. It is his birthday. Let him go. Allow him go celebrate. Eh? So I'll start with Acha. Aka. To celebrate will be shereke. -e. Acha aka shereke. It is his birthday today. Ni siku yake. Ni siku yake ya kuzaliwa. Kuzaliwa. Acha Aka shereke, ni siku yake ya kuzaliwa, leo, today, leo, yes. Okay, let's see this, let's see this sentence now. You must go buy the ticket today. You must, lazima, lazima, you know subjunctives, eh? This is subjunctive. Make sure you know subjunctive after you, learn, you start this lesson. So lazima, you must go buy the ticket today. Lazima. Uka nunue tiketi. Tiketi leo. Other people, other people will say lazima. They say lazima. That is lazima. Uka kate. Because kata tiketi is to buy the ticket. Uka kate tiketi leo. Kata tiketi is like to cut. Eh? You cut the ticket. Cut the ticket. Cut the ticket. Um, we have to go do our homework or else our teacher will not be happy. I won't be happy. Please go do your homework. Of course. Eh? So we have to go. In a bidi, we have to. In a bidi, do you remember your subjunctive functions? Ah, go study it if you forgot. In a bidi is uh, in a bidi two, we have two. In a bidi two, ka. Tu ka. Fanye. Our homework. Tu ka fanye. Kazi. Yetu. Ya. Nyumbani. Or else. Or else, otherwise, you say la 
la sivyo mwalimu mwalimu wetu will not be happy mwalimu wetu hata furahi hata furahi see that so function number sita function number sita mpaka after mpaka you need to have subjunctive but when when you remember you remember what do we say the after mpaka when we learn subjunctive we say the after mpaka you use subjunctive but what time what what time you use subjunctive after mpaka only for present and future sentences not for past sentences for past sentences after mpaka you need to use the tense ka after mpaka use the tense ka for past sentences for future sentences for present sentences you use subjunctive right okay let's see this sentence we climbed the we climbed the past sentence we climbed slowly until we reached to the top this should be the mountain to lee I need to save this sentence. I need to save this area so that is you. Let me do this sentence. We waited until they came. Tuli subiri until mpaka mpaka they came. Mpaka wa kaja. Tuli subiri mpaka wakaja. See that? Did they drink until they got drunk? So, yes or no question. I start with J. Did they drink? J. Wali Wali kunywa? J. Wali kunywa until mpaka wakalewa? J. Wali kunywa mpaka wakalewa? See that? So after mpaka we use the we have the curtains there. So he taught me until I understood the use of ka. So he taught me ali nifundisha ali nifundisha until mpaka I understood mpaka nika nika elewa mpaka nika elewa the use matumizi matumizi the function matu mizi ya ka is it true story okay who taught you we climb slowly until we reach to the top tuli tuli panda tuli panda pole pole slowly pole pole until mpaka we reach to the top mpaka tuka fika to the top kileleni kileleni this must be the mountain asante sana kwaheri kwaheri kwaheri